Welcome to Guitar Technique episode 15. In this lesson, we're gonna be making a study of a picking hand technique that's known of as double and triple picking. Now for this lesson's technique study, we're gonna approach everything from two string scale riffs and open string pedal tones to the use of triple picking in guitar styles like blues and rock. Uh, plus we'll have examples in both straight time feel and in triple meter feel. Now, once we're done practicing the application of double and triple picking techniques, Technique, you're going to learn a number of important concepts for establishing a smooth performance of this technique and the different ways that need to be used in order to have the hand relaxed and feel balanced for the rather demanding work of playing such consistent picking of musical parts like this. So let's get things started here in part one of the lesson with a double picked two string scale riff. <laughs> Okay, in exercise one, got this nice double picking two string scale riff that's happening here. And if you're not familiar with double picking, this is the first time you're ever trying it, uh, you're gonna realize pretty fast that it's fairly stressful on the pick hand since you know the phrase itself has to really keep up with continuous uninterrupted picking. The picking hand has to really master this ability to remain stable and stay relaxed and be accurate because uh, the normal idea with double picking is that the pick hand is basically gonna be continuously hitting two attacks on either a scale tone phrase, maybe it's you know some other kind of riff based idea, but it could be intervallic or whatever, but the phrase has to be really solid and it has to be concise, it has to be very smooth with the picking hand technique. So let's take a look at what's happening with our example one here with this double picking two string scale riff. Uh, we're in E minor <clears throat> and uh, the idea with this is we're set up in the middle of the neck coming from an E at the seventh fret of the fifth string. And then we're gonna to go to its minor third, which is this G tone here at the fifth fret of fourth string, all double picking of course, and then down to F sharp, into a fifth string D at the fifth fret. Then we're jumping over to an A at seventh fret fourth string, and then to the G again, F sharp again, back to the D, and we repeat that phrase. So we do it twice. And you should practice that with your you know, strings you know, ringing open, and you should also try it with palm muting. So that means you're gonna get that heel of your hand just around an eighth of an inch or so over where the strings roll over the saddle there. And you wanna have a, a good distinction of the note, but you want a you know, slight muffled effect as well. So it has sort of a slightly flub sound, but yet you can get the distinction of each tone. And then the next part moves over here to the third fret C. And then we're going to have a G tone come back, F sharp again, and then back to that third fret fifth string C. So the G and the F sharp, of course, you have to transfer over to the fourth string for those. And then at that point, <clears throat> we're gonna jump up and we're gonna have a seventh fret fourth string, fifth fret G, and then fourth fret F sharp back to the D tone again on the fifth string. So. And then the resolution tone is just gonna be the key center tone, the E there. So that's the second half, starts on the C there. And then back around to the E at the end of the seventh fret. So those are the two parts. They're really, you know, interesting sounding E minor riff idea. But what you wanna do is set yourself up so that you can understand exactly how each of these are set up for the left hand, for the fretboard hand. And then you can really get going on focusing for that double picking so that's nice and smooth from your pick hand there. So it'll take a little bit of time. You have to memorize it first, but then once you get it down, turn a metronome on and start working with it against the click track so that you can really develop it. It's a 16th note phrase and it's extremely continuous. I mean, there, there isn't really a break in there anywhere until you finally you know stop on the end at that uh, E tone so you have a whole note there you're going to sustain it for a while in the example when I did it I kind of added in a, a riff phrase going off of power chords into a D back to the E you could kind of create something at the end there if you'd like or you could even expand upon this once you get it down it is meant to be an exercise and uh, you know you can even take it to different keys if you want to uh, it's really you know overall what I had you know said earlier it's an exercise idea of really 
considering maybe, let's say, about five or six frets span across the neck. So mess around with that uh, as a double picking you know, process and uh, something to get you started with. Uh, we're going to take a short break now and we're going to come back in the next video where I have some double picking using an open string pedal riff. And you'll really notice that this is something that you'll hear a lot in hard rock and heavy metal guitar parts. So we'll uh, take a short break from part one and we'll uh, meet up again in video two where we'll go over open string pedal riffs. Hey guys, you're watching an excerpt from the 15th lesson of my Guitar Technique course. The remainder of this lesson is going to be available behind a paywall on my website at creativeguitarstudio.com, but I thought you'd like to see this segment, so I put it here on YouTube for you to get a better idea about what this Guitar Technique course actually has to offer. If you want to subscribe to my website and gain access to this course, along with my introductory, intermediate, and advanced guitar programs, plus many other great guitar courses on the website, just head over to Creative Guitar studio.com and sign up with a free lifetime membership to get yourself started then you can always upgrade to either a monthly or you could go for the discounted yearly premium all access plan if you have any questions you can reach me either by phone or email just click on the link in the YouTube description box under where it says become a member today the Creative Guitar Studio Introductory Guitar Program is a comprehensive 10 lesson system with over 90 pages of material designed to take the most basic guitar student up to an intermediate level of playing. It includes all of the most important open position chords, foundational music theory, and music reading exercises. Plus, every lesson has a detailed answer key to help you correctly understand the material as you study at home. From reading music notation to guitar theory to chords and rhythm guitar, the introductory guitar program will give you the foundation that you need to move up to the next level of playing. The introductory guitar program is available for instant download in the View Our Products area at creativeguitarstudio.com. Sign up for a membership at creativeguitarstudio.com to watch the rest of these videos. Up next, we're going to study open string, double picking, and triple picking riffs in both blues and rock. Plus, as a member, you'll also be able to download the handout for this lesson, along with many more professional guitar lessons. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up next in the members area.